Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. What a thrilling, thrilling victory for the New Jersey Devils to uh, pull off in overtime against the Columbus Blue Jackets tonight by the score of 4-3. to three. It was such a good game. Uh, it was a game that, you know, had up and down emotions the whole game. The Devils had another uh, victory from coming behind. Um, they were down one nothing, tied the game. They were down 2-1, tied the game. They were down 3-2, eventually tied the game. And that's the most thrilling part of the, of the game was when the Devils went down, they tied it up, and they won it in overtime. It was just one of those games where you, you had to watch every second of it because th just the storylines of the game it was just one that went back and forth. Um, the Devils couldn't solve Merceleekins. The Devils did also have a lot of uh, luck on their way as the Columbus Blue Jackets did hit a lot of posts. And, um, you know, it was just one of those fun games to watch. So I wanted to talk about the game in this. I also wanted to talk about that interesting news that happened prior to the game about Nico Doors getting recalled to the New Jersey Devils. So I'm going to talk about that all in this video. So please stay with me throughout. So the New Jersey Devils beat the Columbus Blue Jackets 4-3 to in overtime. Um... You know, the whole day, we wanted to see Damon Severson, uh, his first game playing against the New Jersey Devils in the Rock uh, with his new team. And, uh, you know, it was one of those games where looking forward to seeing that. Uh, but, you know, it was just one of those back and forth efforts. You know, the, the Devils went down early. The Devils went down uh, off another rebound goal that uh, VTech gave up. Um, you know, but they, they were able to tie the game. You know, they went down on a deflection goal, and that's where the game kind of shifted, where the Devils were just peppering the Columbus Blue Jackets, and Merzlikens was just making these gorgeous saves. That save on Mercer, I don't know how he did it. That was a clear rebound. Even Dano went crazy when he, when he uh, was calling that one. You know, he kind of made a kick save, and he kind of extended his leg to get that rebound. I thought that was a guaranteed goal, but, you know, he made that beautiful save on Mercer. It was just one of those games where Merzlikens was on, but the Devils were lucking out. You know, the Columbus Blue Jackets had a lot of uh, opportunities, but Vitek Vanacek played really well in net, uh, got hurt, and, you know, off that hard shot, and, um, you know, still still managed to play the rest of the game. He played really well, but, um, you know, he was making the save, but the Devils were also lucking out because the Columbus Blue Jackets were hitting a couple of posts, and, um, you know, it was just a fun game. But when the game was tied up, when Mercer made that uh, beautiful shot off that great pass from Shimon Nemitz, uh, they tied the game, but then Siegenthaler made that bonehead play with the puck and turned it over. And, of course, all of our turnovers this year always lead to goals and bury this team. And uh, when that happened, it was only a couple of minutes left in the third period. And that's where this game was one of those games where you have to look back on later in the year and say, this is the game that really changed the season for the Devils. Because if that would have happened a couple of uh, games ago, a couple of weeks ago, you know, the Devils would have held, held their head down and, you know, they would have lost the game. But, you know, when Luke Hughes got that puck behind the net and he skated up that ice, what a gorgeous goal he scored. End-to-end -end rush and shot and scored against Merzlikens. What a beautiful goal. It was Niedermeyer-esque. It kind of reminded me of that, that goal that Niedermeyer scored against the Detroit Red Wings in the finals. Um, and it was just a beautiful rush. It was a beautiful rush, beautiful shot, beautiful goal at a perfect time. Uh, with just uh, over a minute to spare, and the Devils were, were able to get the point. So, you know, that's what we needed. We needed to just come back in this game to show some life because the Devils didn't have much of that in the past couple of games. But, man, what a game that was going forward. You know, you're going from cursing out Siegenthaler for making that mistake and costing us the possible game to Luke Hughes only a couple of minutes later scoring that end-to-end -end rush. Man, I was just stoked at this game. You know, it was awesome. But then in overtime, Timo Meyer scored on a breakaway, and it's just been fitting for the way Timo's been playing. The last, um, the last three games, he has four goals and four four points. So um, yeah, he's been really lighting it up, and I'm glad to see Timo playing really well. Um, you know, it's just it's such a turnaround from the way he's been playing the past couple of games prior to that, and uh, you know, I'm glad to see Timo going because. It's a lot when players score when players sign these big contracts and a lot of expectations are there. You see it a lot where these players kind of change their play and you know a lot is expected of them and they can't live up to it. But you know I'm glad to see Timo playing really well now because we need him. We need him to put that puck in the net. We need him to be that physical force out there, that power forward that this team's been lacking. 
And, uh, you know, I'm glad to see him start to put pucks in the net. So this was an awesome game. Uh, if you're a Devils fan, you know, just, just seeing them come back in this game. They've done it a lot this year where they had a lot of comeback victories. And this was probably one of the best ones that we've seen. And, uh, you know, I, I seriously think this is going to be one of those games that really change uh, the tra trajectory of the season for the Devils. So just keep that in mind going forward. You know, if the Devils really go on a tear from now, this is going to be one of those games to look back on. So I want to talk about the news that came out prior to this game where Nico Dawes was recalled to the New Jersey Devils and backing up Vitek Vanacek in instead of Akira Schmidt. Uh, what's interesting to note is what Lindy Ruff said. So Lin per, Lindy, uh, per James Nichols, uh, he said that Lindy Ruff, uh, he said that Dawes' recall is to get NHL reps against NHL shooters. No corresponding move yet. So the, the key word is yet because the... The roster freeze is going to be lifted, and who knows? Maybe Fitzgerald has a trade he's going to make. Um, I'm hoping that happens because, you know, the Devils need that. They need consistency in net. They need that confidence to, you know, just to say, just to have, you know, you know, you have two uh, goaltenders that can easily win a game for you. Uh, Schmidt's been inconsistent. So has Vitek. So we need consistency in net to help us get forward. So... I'm curious to see what the move is going to be. You know, is it just going to be that Nico Dawes is going to be backing up Vitek Vanacek going forward? Is this something to kind of pick up Schmidt from the way he's been playing? You know, maybe have him sit out a couple just to get his mind right and, uh, you know, work harder into getting back to being the backup or being that 1B. Uh, or the Devil's just going to make a move going forward. And, um, you know, I think you're at a point in the season where, you know, you, you need to do something. You need to do something in net. You need to do something on defense to help this team out because we have the offense. We have the players who can put the puck in the net. We've seen it time and time again, but you can't keep trying to win games when your offense is trying to always play catch up. You know, you need to have a competent goaltender. You either need that starter going forward and a, and a good backup, or you need that 1A, 1B tandem. So I'm hoping Fitzgerald can solve that, those problems in net because there's a lot of NHL teams looking for... Um, Looking to make some moves to help out in that regard as to get a goaltender for, you know, going into the, the trade deadline. So curious to see what happens with this Nico Dawes call up and what it means for the Devils and what Fitzgerald has up his sleeve. So comment below. What do you think about the game? What do you think about the Nico Dawes call up? Comment below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Um, smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the night. Have a good day tomorrow. Take it easy. Stay safe.